year because we did all that Gauss's Law stuff. So um, looking at this here, let us look now at the... Let's look at the chapter 17, number 11 problem, okay? Um, in this problem, we have two parallel plates, one at 9,001 microcoulomb, the other at negative 9,001 microcoulomb. Note, for a parallel plate capacitor, or rather any capacitor for that matter, one of the plates will always be positive, and one of the plates has to be charged negative. The charge of one of the plates is the same as the opposite, the negative, charge of the other plates. And that means here that is the charge on the plates. So right now the charge on the plates is 9,001 microcoulombs. We just always take the positive value because that's just kind of how we always work. Um, but it is just the value of the charge of the plates, okay? Um, in this problem, if there's a potential difference of uh, a thousand volts across the plates, so maybe like this side's at a thousand, this side's at zero, or this side's at two thousand, this side's at one thousand, um, either way, our potential difference, V, is one thousand volts. And we are stuck looking for the capacitance. Well, uh, Oh, I believe today in class we looked at this right here. Um, and today in class we said that the capacitance is just equal to Q over V. Which means that this problem is just 9,001 microcoulombs over 1,000 volts. The thing with the microcoulombs, we've got to remember that is 9,001 times 10 to the minus 6th over... 1,000. Um, if I'm dividing by a large number, this is going to get smaller. And because I don't feel like busting out the calculator or doing like hard math, 9,001 divided by 1 is 9,001. These three zeros are going to tack up here and drop this by a factor of 1, 2, 3. So 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. So my answer is 9,001 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs or 9,001 nanocoulombs. Ding, 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 ding. Good answer, good answer. And that's that problem, okay? It's not that crazy thin. Um, we're just looking at this equation right here, C equals Q over V, and recognizing that Q is the charge across the capacitor. Any questions on that? Aren't you like, wow, I would just wish I just would have read the book? <laughs>